Alright, so I haven't done this in a while. What's a while? A week and a half? Two weeks? I'm gonna try to do this with my words and no one else's words. Um, I've lost it. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what my problem is. And I haven't talked to anyone. I'm trying to remind myself, just document, just document. Also, the water's really cold, but it feels so good. Okay, just document, just document, just document, just talk, just talk, just talk. So, I haven't talked to anyone like a week and a half, two weeks. And I feel bad. Because I know that some people are actually genuinely concerned about me. But on another note, I kind of feel like I just need some time to myself right now. Um... I was talking to someone yesterday and I was like, the reason why, so loud, the reason why I haven't talked to anyone or I haven't posted is one, I'm embarrassed from my actions, my, which is not, it's not new, you know, like my suicidal thoughts and stuff like that and like my tiptoeing on the edge of homelessness. But also, I remember once a friend and I got into a fight, and um, I said to her, whatever happened to, if you have nothing nice to say, don't say anything at all. And I realized that I haven't been doing that. I've just been being so angry and so nasty and so mean because a friend of mine, um, we, used to, um, we used to go to Olive Garden every Saturday, and we'd sit and talk, and we'd have... Um, we talk about like politics and philosophy and life and and um, he recently emailed me and um, he sent me this a uh, bunch of quotes and um, one of them was and I'm paraphrasing a lot but um, it was talking about how that's not fair life's not fair and she's uh, in the quote she said um, you know what's not fair the fact that you have a house the fact that you you were born in America. And she said, child, um, you better hope that life doesn't start treating you fair. And I think that's what's happening to me right now. I think life is treating me exactly the way that I deserve to be treated. But I'm also like, what's my problem? You know, is it is it my overthinking? Is it my being being too trusting of people? But I don't I like the fact that I trust people. I like the fact that I'm that I, that I let people in and I should be stronger than this. I should be better than this. And like like a little a little creeping in my in the back of my mind tells me you are so much better than this. But is that true? Am I making that up? Am I lying to myself? Is the volume moving on? Oh, well, I guess I'll make this a two part video. But um, yeah. And I don't want to give any pe any more people bad vibes. I don't want to make anyone else sad because my life is miserable. And I know that, like, on one hand, I feel like life is like, I, I gave you an option. I gave you an out. I gave you a chance to escape and you didn't take it. But also, like, I just wish I could glimpse into my future to be like, okay, am I doing the right thing? Am I, am, am, I, am I on the right path or am I diverting? All I know is everything feels so hopeless. Extremely hopeless. And... I don't know. I don't know if life is setting me up for something great or if I'm setting myself up for failure. And I know that I can't accept love, which is so frustrating because like I thought I thought that I did this part. I thought I did the whole self-love thing the right way, but apparently I despise myself. I disgust myself. 
because that's that's because that's what I'm doing to myself. That's what that's what I'm accepting into my life. That's what I don't think that I'm good enough. I was talking to um one of my managers, a chef, and he's like, you know what your problem is? You're too hard on yourself. And I'm like, yeah, I know. I know that I'm too hard on myself, and I don't know why I am. I'm like, on one, on one part, one side of it, it is a good thing that I'm hard on myself because it's like, it's driving me to, 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 to be better. But I think it's really holding me back because it's like, I don't, because the shit that I take from people is unacceptable and I keep doing it. The jobs that I accept are unacceptable and I keep staying with them. So yeah, that's been going on. <laughs> Just trying to, I'm so nervous I'm gonna drop my phone in the pool. But um that's been going on lately. I haven't listened to um my motivational videos like I used to every morning. Oh god, I don't know what that is in the water. Oh god, is it fucking swimming? What the fuck? It's swimming. We're gonna get up. We're gonna get up. We're gonna get up. Uh Okay. Okay, so yeah, I, I've been having this really bitter, resentful feeling towards um, motivational videos because <laughs> at some point I was like, what the fuck do you mean keep going? What the fuck do you mean it, it gets better? Oh, 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 oh. Um, or, or the quote, um, what's, what's the quote? If today was your last day on earth, what would you do? And <laughs> I was talking to my friend and I was like, what do you mean what the fuck I w would I do? Like, I still have the same amount of money in my bank account. You know, it's not like I can jump on a fucking plane and go to fucking Europe. You know, if it was the last day on earth, it would just be another fucking day. You know what I'm saying? Just like, does that make sense? Um. So, yeah. I'm just trying to find my hope again trying to find my light again because right now it's so fucking dark the holidays are coming up and it doesn't even really feel like it overall I'm just really disappointed in myself because I know I'm better than this but it's like why isn't life helping me or is it helping me and I'm, and I'm being oblivious or maybe I'm, I'm asking too much or maybe I'm, I'm not I used to wake up every morning. The first thing I do is smile. Now I wake up everything every morning, and like, it feels like someone's sitting on my chest. And I and I say to myself, I hear Dr. Joe Dispenza saying, "Control your mind. Your first thoughts and worrying always the most important." And it's like I, I'm not trying to do this on purpose. I'm not trying to do this on purpose. I was listening to this video the other day. And he was saying how he's so grateful for his mental breakdown because it led him to his wisdom. And I'm like, can we just skip to that part? You know, <laughs> can we skip to the part where, I, where I'm wise and, and I don't let things phase me or bother me? And the... <sighs> and now I'm just rambling. But this feels good. This feels good. Like I said, I haven't vlogged in a while, vlogged in a while. So this feels really good and I keep hearing strange sounds. <laughs> um, I do know that I need to stop being so quiet. I need to reply to my friends. I need to wake up and stop walking around with like this veil on, walking around with my head down. Because there was a light that came out of me from vlogging. And and I keep asking myself, like, why is everyone else doing so fucking great? And I'm here fucking struggling like fucking crazy. And it's like... <sighs> anyway, 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 anywho. Um, this is two weeks later after my mental breakdown. Um... I didn't die. I'm still here. I'm gonna still keep going. And um, yeah, that's it for right now. That's it. Okay, I'm just rambling now. That's it.
How do you stop your bad thoughts? Choose to think of something else. Or, or, um, ask yourself the question, what else would you be thinking about right now if you wasn't, th if you wasn't, oh, I'm going to say that again. <laughs> what else would you be thinking about right now if you weren't so focused on your worries? Say that one more time. What else would you think about right now if you weren't so focused on your worries? And the first thing that comes to my mind is I wouldn't be thinking about anything. My mind would be clear. It would, it would just be a, a field. It would be a strawberry field. I'm like, okay, let's just do that then. Let's just think about strawberry fields. Let's not worry. Let's not get anxious. Let's not anticipate. Let's not, let's not, let's not. Just think about strawberry fields. Cool. Thank you for your patience. I know this is going to lead to something. I know that this needs to happen. I know that the worst is not over. I know the worst is not over. But I just got to stay strong. But I need to stay strong. I can't expect my friends to be strong for me because it's not fair. It's not fair to them. Because they have problems too. They have issues too. The difference between me and everyone else is the fact that I'm so fucking vocal about my problems. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> that doesn't mean that other people don't have problems. Okay, I need to stop this now. Okay, I'm going to go inside. It feels so good right now. I think it's like 60 degrees. Um, I really want to do my cold showers video. And I will. I will. I can. I will. I must. I'm on a winning fucking streak. That's it. Okay. Bye. Be nice to someone. Have a fantastic holiday if you're watching this around Thanksgiving or around Christmas. Bye.